woke you up this morning, there ought to be some rejoicing in your spirit on this morning. Can you say amen on this morning? Can you thank God for a day that he's given us to, to rise and see a brand new day? If you're here this morning and breath is in your body, you ought to be able to say, thank you, Jesus, for another day. Hallelujah on this morning. Did you come to praise him on the day? Hallelujah. Did you come to praise the Lord on today? Hallelujah. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy of all of our praise. Amen. On this morning, as this charity of choir come this morning to praise and worship, let us worship God in spirit and in truth.
everybody. Amen. Yeah. Hey, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Amen. Yes, yes. God is good and he's worthy to be praised.
and he served him, and he made him overseer over his house, and all that he had, he put into his hand. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Come tell somebody that it's all in God's plan. It's all in God's plan. All in God's plan. Today we want to share from a story of a young man whose life made a difference, even when he didn't know what was going on. Even when he didn't have a clue what God was up to. See, church, God is always up to something. One writer said that when you are down to nothing, God is up to something. Right. Have you ever been in a place where you wanted to ask God what in the world is going on? I mean, Lord, I thought I was your child. But Lord, I thought you loved me. But, but this does not seem like the place that I want to be in. Yeah. Have you ever been there? Yeah. I can testify that there are some folks in this sanctuary today that can say that there comes time when you wanted to ask God, God, is, have you forsaken me? Or uh, is this a cruel trick that's been played on me? Have anybody ever been there? Yeah, I know he say he'll never leave you nor forsake you, but this don't seem like it's right. Seem like God, if you love me the way you say you did, look like you would have done things a little different. Ain't that right? How many of you wish you could push rewind button on your life? Go back over and look back over your life. But, but how many of you know that it's all in God's plan? So go tell you my name. Put a smile on your face. Because whatever you were going through, it's in his place. Yeah. Have we got the witness here? Yeah. So we just want to look at this young man's life in Genesis chapter 2. It said, and the Lord was with Joseph. Yeah. The Lord was with Joseph. She said, right. when God is all you have, all right God is all you need. One time I talked on this text, I say steps and stops. Steps. Let everybody say steps, steps. and stop. And God bless you. Amen. Last time I checked, the Bible said in Psalm 37, it said that the steps of a good man are ordered, established by the Lord. And he is delighted in his way. And though he fall, he shall not be cast down. You, you, you know, Peter said, I fall down, but I get back up. Have I got a witness here? And you can get back up because God uphold you with his hand. To let somebody say, God got you in his hand. So, 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 church, what that tells me is that every step, every single place that we find ourselves in, has been divinely destined by God. Yeah. Have I got a witness here? That, 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 when, that, that when we are in a relationship with God, when we seek to please God, when we turn our lives over to the will of God, that watch this, that God supernaturally navigates the steps of our lives yeah. so that we will end up bringing God's glory and work out for our good. How do you know that? And, and we know that all things work together for the good of God. He say all the good, the bad, and the ugly. Amen. It, it all works in hand. Because see, when you seek to please God, it will work for your good and bring God's glory. Have I got a witness here? How do you know that? When, what, what you do? It, it's only what you do for Christ will last. Ain't that right? Every now and then you need to look at Jeremiah 29 and 11 when he says, I know the plan that I have for you, says the Lord. Plan to prosper you and not harm you. To give you a future and a hope. 
to give you an expected in. See, see, church, you, you ought to be expecting God to, to work a miracle today. So, so, so somebody came in here looking for a breakthrough. Somebody came in here looking for a blessing. You ought to expect God. <laughs> Ain't that right? See, 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 God knows the ending from the beginning. See, see, that's why they say he's Alpha and Omega. He's the beginning and end. See, see, we can only see bits and pieces. But we only know in Paul. But, but, but Paul said, he said, but when he that is perfect is come, he will show us all things. But, but watch this. Not only does God navigate our steps, but he also navigates our stops. Look, church. There are some places that God wants you to chill. But there are some places that God wants you to stop. That God wants you to relax. Just, just, just sit a spell. Be still. The psalmist say, be still and know that I am God. Have I got a witness here? That every now and then you need to know that he is God. And because he navigates our step and our stop, every now and then you just have to sit a spell. That may not be comfortable. Have I got a witness here? Sinner spell that may not be pleasing. May not be all that you want it to be. But it's still going to work out for God's glory and your good. Have I, every now and then you need to sit a spell. Tell somebody, relax, God. I wish I had two or three folks in here right now uh, that listen to me. But I want you to hear me, church, when I tell you. That, that, that this is not just about getting you to the place to make you happy, happy, happy. Oh, some stops along this journey is to mature, is to develop us, not just to make you holy, to make you holy and not just happy. I mean, you know, a lot of folks that come to church just to be happy. I'm not here to make nobody feel good. That, that, that's why I thank God for our musicians. See, see, when they started praying, they could have prayed all those jumping up songs. But when they prayed something go, I'm not here to please you. It's not about what I feel. It's not about what I like. It's not about what I please. But did you do all you could to please God? Hey. Now, now, I know, I know some, of the, some of the stuff, some of the people would love to erase some of the stuff. But because some of the stops are not pleasant. Some of the stops don't feel good. All the stops are not what I wanted. But can I tell you, if it was not for some of the stops in your life, you would never get to the place where God wants you to be. Sometimes you would pass on by. You may have called the train on the track. But when God already knows the train when that you might run over somebody up the road. Can I get a witness here? In, in, in our test today, there's a process that goes on that will develop this young man. Yeah. Have I got a witness here? It all begins in chapter 37 when Joseph is 17 years old. And by the time he dies, he, in chapter 50, he's 110 years old. Quick, fast, and in a hurry. He moved from 17 to 110. Time that used to be. Lord help me. <laughs> Ain't that right? But, but, but you see some things along his journey that helped him to become. Yeah. Y'all miss that. Too many of us just want to be. But we don't want to become. So can I get a witness here? You, you, you just want to be at church. But, but you don't want to become the church. Anybody can be at church, but when you become the church, when they see that wall rock, they'll see the church. When they see that super wall, then they'll, they'll see the church. When they see you on your job, they'll see the church. Quit trying to be and learn how to be gone. Yeah, there, there's a big difference in being and becoming. I may not be what you want me to be, and I know I'm not all that I would love to be. But, but I thank God I'm not as terrible as I used to be. See, see, there, there, there are some of us who just want to be in the faith of 
God. But you don't want to become. So when you get God's favor, you will know how to handle God's favor. See, a lot of us get God's favor, and we don't know how to handle God's favor. And if you don't know how to handle what God gives you, it'll mess you up. And folks won't be able to understand why you praise God the way you praise Him. Because when God develops you, you have a great appreciation for God. You, you learn to appreciate God. Have I got a witness? I thank God for Terry here. Showing up in number. Ain't that right? Because they appreciate God. Ain't that right? A lot of folks that don't appreciate it would have stayed at home. But because God been so good to them. And ain't that right? He hears this brother by the name of Joseph. Now, now, now we know of two Joseph. One was the stepdaddy of Jesus who married Mary. But this one here is the knee baby of Jacob. You know, Jacob had 12 sons. This is the knee baby. The, the, the baby boy was named Benjamin. For Saul came out of the tribe of Benjamin. But, but this is the knee baby. Can, can I get a witness here? And ain't that right? See, Jacob, Jacob had this boy when he was in love with Rachel. But, 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 his, but his father in law Laman tricked him and, and made him marry Leah first. How, how many of you know if you got if you got two or three women sometimes you got to work double time? <laughs> Joseph had to work double time because he wanted two women. Hell, somebody, you got married down to one, you don't have to work all of y'all. Even the Lord. 
They hated him not just because of what they could see, but they hated him because of what he could see. Would you believe that some folks are not hating on you, not because you think you God give to the world, but because they hate on you because God is lavishing his love on you. Ain't that right? And because they can't do nothing about the Father, they try to take it out on the Son. You make you think about God and Jesus, don't you? Ain't that right? They can't do nothing with God, but so they try to take it out on Jesus. But I heard Jesus say, and I, if I, be lifted up, I'll draw. Ain't that right? So sometimes folks think that if they can't, if folks think that they can get to you bad enough, that you won't be able to use what God has given you. Do you believe that some folks are not really mad at you because of all you have? They're not mad at you, but they're mad because God has blessed you. Ain't that right? And since they can't get to God, they'll start hating on you, Lord. I wish I had two with that, that know that since you got hooked up with the Holy One, that since you got uh, connected to the Creator, ain't that right? That, that your haters know they can't get to God, so they'll do all they can to get to you. But I tell you, you better stand no matter what. You better tell somebody, I don't care if you don't like me. I don't care if you don't like what I got. You got to let them know if it had not been. But the Lord on my side. Tell somebody, nobody will go. Tell, tell somebody, you can't have this. Tell somebody, this joy I have, the world didn't get it. He, he said, but he sees this trouble up ahead. Even his elders will bow down to him. He told his mom and dad, he said, the sun and the moon is going to bow down to him. And ain't that right? Because you see, some folks are cool with you as long as you beneath them. But that lets you start coming up in life. Have I got a witness here? And ain't that right? Some folks are cool with you as long as you beg for the ride. But just let God bless you to roll like you roll. And ain't that right? That they cool with you as long as you read. But when God bless you with a house on the hill, three cars above, that they cool with you as long as you don't have a job. That as soon as you get a job, we build it. Y'all missed it. Can get away with this? So the Bible says they begin to plot on that they say, how we might get rid of this dream. And his brothers hated him. See, sometimes your brother will betray you. You think everybody that's close to you are loving you? No, 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 no. That there are some who are close to you can be hating on you. Sometimes your brothers and sisters will betray you. If you don't believe me, you better ask Jesus. He had 12 disciples. And one betrayed him by the name of Judas. And that's what they did. The joke, they said, we're going to kill this brother. They say, oh, we can't do that. They say, well, let's put him in a pit. And while they had him in the pit, the Israelite came back. And they stole him to the Israelite. And ain't that right? Because all your brothers are not biological. Some of them are cultural. Dr. Jeremiah Wright said, everybody your color is not your kind. So some say all your skin folks are not your kin folks. Everybody that looks like you ain't proud to die without you. Because one of them will betray you. And I know you told them that you weren't going to tell nobody, but they just couldn't keep it. So after they sold him to slavery, he ended up in Papa's house. Papa was a high-ranking officer down in Egypt. And, and, and he gave Joseph a job in the house. And everything Joseph touches becomes blessed. Just the fact that Joseph was in the house, the house is blessed. Can I tell you, just because you here today, tell somebody you're going to be blessed. Because the COVID has been pastoring here for some years now. 
Somebody can testify that since I've been at Second Baptist, I become real blessed. <laughs> Tell somebody, Pastor Coleman is one of a million. Ain't that right? When others say, Joan, we won't take you. Pastor Coleman say, Joan, come on in. Thank God for Pastor Coleman. I believe he read that Paul said, be not deceived. For God is not martyr. Whatsoever man sow it, that shall he also reap. Ain't that right? If you're going around being ditches for folks, you might as well be too. Because one of those ditches might be for you. You're going around calling other folks to cry. You better get a handkerchief because you got some tears to shed. Better get a witness here on glad today that God is all right. Won't even make a way for you. Won't even walk with you. Ain't he all right? They sold him to slavery. I'm trying to get out of here, Pastor Gold. When he got down there, Joseph had a dream. Ain't that right? In the butler and baker. Ain't that right? They put Joseph in prison. Ain't that right? Because when he got to Potiphar's house, somebody said Joseph had some trouble. I don't know who I'm talking to, but every now and then, men, you're going to run into some drama. Not only was Potiphar impressed with Joseph, but Mrs. Potiphar was also impressed with Joseph. Can I get a witness here? Every day, Miss Potiphar tried to get Joseph to lie with him. But I'm glad that his brother know how to act. I know we don't always do that, but I thank God for the example of this young man. He told me, Father, I can't do that because God been too good to me. She said, come on, Joseph, and lock with me. Joseph said, the gods are watching. She looked around and saw one of those pagan gods. You know the gods that got eyes and can't see you. Got ears and can't hear. She turned around and put a cover over the dog. She said, they ain't watching us now. Joseph said, I better get out of here. Ain't that right? And Joseph ran. Every now and then, you got to know when to run. Every now and then, you got to know when to get out of that place. Ain't that right? When they start talking about crazy God, it's time to get out of that place. Ain't that right? She lied on Joseph. And they put him in a prison. Ain't that right? But I'm glad today that just because God put you somewhere, God can bless you no matter where he bless you. Ain't that right? No matter what you do, God can bless you wherever you are. And every time and then, you ought to be thankful that God got you out there because somebody's watching. Ain't that right? And when they know that Joseph can dream, they know they have a dream. Ain't that right? He said, well, I got a bad dream. Joseph in turn and Pharaoh dream. Ain't God all right? I said, ain't he all right? And I tell you, when he interpreted Pharaoh dream, Pharaoh made Joseph second in command. Ain't that right? I tell you, just hold on. Just a little while longer. God will put you second in command. I don't know who I'm talking to, but every now and then, God will raise you up. God will raise up our way out there. God will lead from a man. God will fix his fire. Ain't he all right? I say, ain't God all right? But you got to be careful how you do the other folks. Because those same folks that you left behind, they're going to be the same folks that give you a drink of water. Ain't God all right? I say, ain't he all right? There's a family in Cana that got plenty of food in Egypt. There's a family in Cana that ain't got no food. So they had to go down to Egypt. But guess who in the head of Egypt? Joseph, their brother. See, what God, what the trend meant for evil. God will turn it for you to do Anybody here? No, the Lord is all right. Anybody here? No, we don't make your enemies a pussy. Anybody here? No, they laugh at you. They talk about you. But tell them, look at me now. Tell them I was caught up on the floor. I know I was jacked up. But tell them, look at me now. Since the Lord got a hold on me. Since the Lord has been blessed. Look at me now. Is there anybody here? No, the Lord. 
trying to stop just because you're somewhere you don't want to be. God's favor still will be on you. It don't matter where he puts you at. God can use you no matter. Woo! Ain't that right? I uh, see some Terry Hills out there. You should be on Terry Hills. God can bless you in the other type of Baptist. You ain't got to stay at Terry Hills. God going to bless you no matter where he plants you. But just don't forget where you come from. Don't forget if it had not been for the Lord on my side. If I didn't have the upbringing. If I didn't stay in school. If I didn't stay in church. Ain't no telling where I would have been. But ain't God all right? I say, ain't he all right? Whoa! 
Yeah.